Probably some world today. Pretty excited because we have somebody who's uh, making a big splash on the scene. Yes, sir. Kelby is in the Hello, building. Hello, Kelby, uh, also known as Kelby the P. As a matter of fact, you can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me broke. So That's yeah, right. Out here today. And then co-hosting with me. Big says Gerber Displurger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Almighty for that because the rest of you short you did. You know what I'm saying? No, the real deal, you know what I'm saying? Holyfield, you know what I'm saying? Not the impersonation. Damn, he just came. With a, a whole little monologue like OJ the Juice. <laughs> that was fire. Um, okay, so I wanted to, like, hop in here yeah. and attempt to, you know, have a conversation that perhaps can build on some of the other conversations that have already happened. Yeah. So let's, <laughs> let's lay this all out. So. Yeah. You had a very, very uh, viral appearance on Soft White Underbelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what happened. Like, what what was your life like in the lead up to that? Why did you decide to do that? Uh, in the lead up to that, I was uh, I was hustling. I don't want to say specifics, but I was doing a little a little shit in the streets. And then basically, I was like, you know I what? I feel like you've already filled this in about what you were doing. Yeah, in the streets. I mean, well, well, Sharp made some accusations about what I was doing. I don't want to admit uh -oh. or deny those, but okay. yeah, basically, I was getting money and shit. And then that hustle came to an abrupt end when I got raided. So then I switched into another one because I seen some people that needed help, and you know, I just jumped into the game. Describe getting raided. Though. Oh, uh, well, I was outside vaping and shit, and like you know, still hustling. And the girls were inside, um, and basically just got a no-knock raid they came in they pulled me outside some undercovers and they like drew their guns on me and shit like that put me in the squad car and then they all just were like inside my house and like yo we got a warrant to search your person and your your vehicle and and your house but they were suspicious of you probably. yeah they, they were trying to say in that i was like you know drug dealing or, or something like that okay and but you don't have a case as a result of this uh nah i never heard back from them honestly yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so then you decide, like, how did the software underbelly opportunity even come about? Uh, well, I've been trying to do some, like, online stuff and just get that internet money and also promote uh, my girls' OnlyFans. Okay. Uh, so basically, check out Crystal Roses on OnlyFans, by the way. She's going up. Um, but now, basically, I was just trying to promote that stuff. So I went on Soft White, talking about my story. And then, yeah, that just kind of blew up from there. So what was the feedback like? Like, what would you describe as the most common comments that you saw in response to the soft on our belly thing that were really yeah. driving it being viral oh just a lot of hateful sh yes sir sorry for the stop the video but we back at it again um i go by money man this is my life story 702 i want to say please like comment and subscribe uh, much love to all that's been showing love and support to the channel you know we growing like i say in all videos let's keep it up um, please subscribe. Um, this is um, suspect beating up the wannabe pimp in the other video, man. He come back for revenge, and it gets down and dirty on this one. Um, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section with this one. Yes, sir. About the way I was dressed, mostly. People was like, and also I feel like they took a lot of the shit I said out of context. Like, when I said I was homeless, that was because I just got evicted after the raid. The apartments had, like, kicked us out with some Section 8 that I was staying with my family and the girls. So they kicked us out of that. And then a lot of people were like, oh, why is he dressed like a Party City pimp, fake chains and all that. But, you know, it's all real. You know, the, the outfit, I feel like that's the most thing that people said was being disrespectful. But I was just doing that to get attention. But all my jewelry is legit and stuff. So, uh, been diamond tested, so like, fill me in on that. Like, is there... Yeah. Is there something expected of you before you've earned the stripes to wear certain types of, like, pimp outfits? Nah, it wasn't even that. It was, like, we felt like that shit, like, the equivalent for, to, to to get everybody to understand, kind of like, kind of like blackface. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was kind of like, like, it, it looked like a costume. You, you get what I'm saying? Right. It's like... He I came don't in here. How that's a he came in here wearing that shit like in his head, like, "Oh, this is what pimps is supposed to look like." I got my little dollar sign chain, my yeah, little fur I got coat. Two of them. <sighs> but you do you like, do you feel like you know you could have rocked the same fit or something similar? But I mean, I'm true to this, so of course I could. But that's the so same thing. Like I'm black. 
blackface. You get what I'm saying? Like okay. it, it's like wearing blackface. But so, so it's like, but aren't there I, white pimps at these pimp white, conventions yeah, yeah. and white shit? Folks, white of folks, white folks is a popping ass white pimp. And you didn't I even bet you know who he was no, no, no. until right now. But until I know the new who he is. I know who we he is. We asked you that last interview. You had no clue. <laughs> you didn't now ask me you about no white pimps last time. The nigga sharp said, "You know who the fuck white folks is?" You was like, "No, I don't." You didn't know who the fuck that was. He told me who that was on Facetime before the interview. Exactly. You didn't know who white folks was until we informed you. Until sharp informed me on a Facetime before this. Until a pimp informed yeah. you yeah. who wife who exactly. But you, you know what I'm no saying? There's until, white pimps until out there. Somebody informed so him before how, his it's, how it's blackface. That, you that seems like you're bringing up racism where it doesn't need no, to be. No, 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 no. That was just a um that was just an analogy to get everybody to understand. I'm not saying that you were doing it's, it's you an said analogy I was doing blackface, to basically. get everybody to understand. Yeah, because you 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 pulled up in a pimp costume. He was saying it was like blackface, but is, is it the fact costume. that he's but, white in general or is the fact that he's so new in the game? It's just he's it's just because because he's not really doing that shit in his head. He came. <laughs> but I ain't like, really doing you that shit. My pockets like, will prove came, that. That's like, what's a good analogy? Well, I just gave one. Like blackface. But let's do another one. Like, like, like a nigga who go to the gym with all the shit. And he looking like he finna ball the fuck up. You feel me? And then when he get the ball, he can't do shit. But he came in his head like, this is what ballers look like. I'm going to get the headband, the socks, and all that <laughs> shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, what that's if, what, what I'm saying. What if he starts learning how to play ball, and then he starts balling harder than other motherfuckers? Right? Is he still impersonating at that point? Everybody's a little kid trying yeah, to be like Michael we, Jordan we at one point, somewhere. right? And then... Right? We'll, uh oh, it's getting... You see, it's getting heated. You see that? You see the eye look, man. The next day. You see the eye look. Man, watch closely. Man, it's about to get heated. You see, you see him. He trying to test him. Man, let me know how y'all feeling so far. You see, um, Adam. He's stirring up the pot. This shit crazy. Hey, boom! Yeah. You are Michael Jordan. You gotta crawl before you can walk. Bro. It up, look. So everybody starts Thank somewhere, you. and I feel like y'all were hating on that because not even the race thing. Because I feel like we're all the same, no matter what color we are. But I feel like it's because of my age and because of how new I was to the game that y'all just attacked me for that it. Has nothing to do with that. I don't really? Feel like, I don't feel like you're That's new to shit. That's not what it seemed like. You hate I don't white feel people. Like you're, no, 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 no. I feel like you're not new to shit. I just feel like you're an impersonator <laughs> for your SoundCloud career. You're not new to shit, nigga. But bro, I don't even focus on music. You came up in here talking about streets. I focus on getting money. You came here talking about you professing old school, and then you was like, we. We actually where you learned this shit from, and then you said, "Yeah, I watched you. I watched Sharp on YouTube." Like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Because I, no, I have no it's mentors not some shit in real you life. Could watch on 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 YouTube and in person and start getting money from get it. in the fucking streets, nigga, and get what some real experience. Doing? Get but what money? But the fuck all, experience. all these drill kids experience. are looking at older drill rappers experience. and fucking getting but influenced really by that, right? Drilling though, but he's really outside pimping. Not really. Not really. I brought two bitches with me. I ain't never seen none of your bitches. That don't mean he got some work on the couch. None of your bitches. Right. Right. Cause I'm really doing this shit. What the fuck? I look like bringing some bitches in here. Really? You're a clown, well, nigga. You, you gonna get you life for this it. shit? You gonna get life for playing so around, nigga? I I'm really doing this shit. What the fuck do Come I look like now. bringing Sounds some prostitutes fuck, in here? Sounds niggas get the fuck. book through at them we for this money? shit. This nigga's a clown. You a fucking this nigga's a clown and impersonator, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You're a clown, nigga. You're a clown, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You're a bum, nigga. Go get some money, nigga. You ain't no nobody. Mr. Old School, you ain't got no fucking, fucking money, nigga. Pull some money, money out. Bro. You broke every ass nigga. Day fuck out of here, bro. nigga. You's a bum. My bitches get me money. Nigga, I pull fuck out of here. Them bitches dusty as fuck. Day, bro. Them bitches dusty as fuck. And you ain't got fuck. no bitches. You ain't I, got no that's fucking cool. bitches. I, I'll say that. That's cool. You ain't got no bitches. Because when the police huh. watching, I don't have no bitches. I'm a podcaster. Let me just interrupt real quick. I'm the only fans manager when the police watching. Let me just interrupt real quick. Hey, you, bro. All right. Hold on. Uh -oh. He's trying to pull that, pull that out on Sharp and stuff too. Like, yeah. where's your bit? I'm gonna be real. Like, they me and Sharp have been in the same group chat for like a couple years at this yeah. point. So I've seen some of the girls they spends time with. He definitely has some attractive women in his life. I have no idea what their relationship is, but also, you know, you gotta respect it. Like, fucking, if I had like all kinds of girls, I would probably try to keep some kind of distance between my professional life and bringing chicks around Thank all my you. employees and stuff. I mean, I am somebody who lives my whole fucking life on the internet, so it might be kind of different for me, but. Yeah. I mean, just because he don't necessarily... I, I just see. Man, come on, Adam. Like, no disrespect, man. You just running off, man. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this shit, man. Like, suspect, man. Get this guy together. You feel me? Just want to be um, fox pimp of the world, man. Um, white chocolate, that's what they call him. <laughs> Let's get to it. I see some women trailing him before. <laughs> <laughs> niggas better. Niggas really know, it. nigga. I'm on tracks, boy. Fuck out of here, nigga. I ain't never nigga. seen no bitches. Who are you? 
I'm Lil who Kelpie, are you? Kelpie no the knows pimp. You. Kelpie the motherfucker. Kelpie pimp. the clown. Fuck you ain't gotta know who I am, fuck bro. Fuck out of here. Fucking fuck Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch. Fuck out of here. No. He knows who the who? fuck I am. I'm you getting said money what? every day. I said you Ben said... Franklin knows who the who? fuck I am, bitch. Who you calling a bitch, though? I'm calling you a bitch. Oh, Whoa. 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 What just happened? Man, yo, what just happened? What y'all think, man? Um, was suspect right for you know, um, getting out of character and um, teaching um, white chocolate a um lesson about calling somebody a b. Or you think um, he should have stayed in control? At the end of the day, sometimes, like I tell people, man, you got to, you know, um, you got to, man, stop worrying about what others think about you and, and, and do what you have to do for yourself. Because at the end of the day, when you die, it's only you when, you, when you're in that grave. So um, I stop worrying about what other people think, you know, um, stay Stay positive. Stay to yourself, man. Do the shit for your family and the the, the the real ones that love you. That's all I can say, man. Let me know how y'all feel. Um, I go by Money Man once again. This is my life story, 702. And um, be out this beast. Yes, sir.